BOOM! This video is going to blow your mind because I have personally created my unique top five biggest mistakes to avoid when buying a home in Florida. Yes, you heard it right. These major mistakes I'm about to tell you about for free will save you thousands of dollars and a lot of unwanted stress. Just wait until you hear what my number one is. It will drop your jaw. To give you a little hint, my number one will automatically solve mistakes number two through four instantaneously. Are you ready? Counting down, here is number five. Looking for a home before having a mortgage. Now, many of you would think this is number one because it is so important. But my number one is going to blow your mind so much because it is by far the most important thing to know when buying a property in South Florida. But looking for a home before having a mortgage plan is an absolute catastrophe. What you think your budget is, isn't based on facts, but an assumption. For example, buyers ask me to send them properties from 900,000 to a million dollars and they love the homes and select their top three. They get so excited and want to make an offer, but then their pre-approval letter comes back at maybe 750,000. Oh no, you may think this is not a big deal. You may think, oh, just sell them something for 750,000. It's not that easy. Have you ever gone to a world famous steakhouse and ordered a hot dog? I don't think so. Once that same buyer sees those $750,000 properties, their minds are automatically comparing it to those $1 million properties they just saw and are utterly disappointed and disapproved. This happens all the time and I even call this flip-flopping budget. Flopping your budget around will be catastrophic and leave you never satisfied, trust me. Number four, fixating on a house over the neighborhood. This is a good one and literally I just dealt with this yesterday. My safe search sent a buyer property for $1.4 million and it was a stunning house, fully remodeled, beautiful. I was shocked because it was a listing in a community I knew well. I knew this community does not boast those prices. So when I looked at the comparables or comps, in the last year, all the homes in this community sold for 600,000 to a million with a random one at 1.18 million. Here's an old saying that you need to know. Do not buy the best home on the block. So this is one to remember and do not get hypnotized when you see all the bells and whistles of a home and forget the most important part of a home's value, the community. Location, location, location. Number three, waiting for the unicorn. This is the Cinderella story airing on Fantasyland TV. Some buyers think with their budget, they're going to walk into a home with their family and it will be just the perfect home in every single way. Welcome to reality. I mean, this may happen 3% of the time, but 97% of the time, this is dreamland. Things in Florida move really fast and it is a hot market. It's important to curb your expectation as other people's tastes is not the same as yours. Look at the big picture. If a home checks seven out of your 10 boxes and will only cost you a little bit more money to make it the perfect home, don't turn away. Look at the property as an opportunity as a candidate for your unicorn. Buyers, in my experience, that have waited for that perfect home, the unicorn, have become very stressed, upset, and even homeless. Be open-minded, be creative, and remember, most of the time, you're going to have to slightly alter someone else's home to turn that white horse into your unicorn. Number two, not ordering the right home inspections. This is a big no-no, and this could cost you big money. About 12 years ago, before I was a realtor, I was a salesman for a home inspection company, which eventually led me to real estate. So I was taught all the key fundamentals about Florida home inspections, which is a nice ace in my sleeve as your realtor. You would think, what do you need to know? I just need to order a home inspection. No big deal. <laughs> Wrong. In Florida, there are a variety of inspections needed along with your full home inspection, like mold samples, 
There'll be DO inspections, which are wood destroying organisms like termites, which are very common in Florida. And you will also need your insurance inspections, so most likely a wind mitigation inspection and a four point inspection. These are essentials to your home and your peace of mind. Quick example, I was working out in the gym the other day and overheard the trainer telling a story about him buying a home and his little girl and family started getting sick. Long story short, there was black mold upstairs behind the drywall in the bathroom, getting everyone sick. Terrible situation, and this would have been avoided with the right inspections. So they not only had to deal with the mental stress and trauma of their family being sick, but financially, these repairs are big bucks to remediate and not an easy process at all. Well, this brings me to the secret number one. Are you ready? Number one is choosing the wrong realtor. That is the biggest mistake to avoid when buying a property in South Florida. Remember what I said in the beginning of this video. If you avoid this mistake, and if you choose the right realtor, will automatically solve mistakes number two through four instantaneously. This is huge. Here's what should also drop your jaw and what a lot of people don't consider. You do not pay your realtor. Sellers in Florida pay for a buyer's realtor. So essentially, we are free to you as a buyer. So you need to freely hand select the best realtor you can find. And when buying such a large ticketed item, like a home, why wouldn't you choose someone with experience, knowledge, and a good reputation? This is where I come in. As a former professional soccer player, I know that winning a soccer game is only easy if you have the right team or if you pay off the ref. Well, buying a home is also easy if you have the right team and you don't have to pay off anyone, including the realtor. I live and breathe real estate in South Florida every single day from 6 a.m. until 10 p.m. when my eyes automatically roll to the back of my head with exhaustion. And I've been doing this for over a decade. It is what I love to do. And as my career escalated, I found myself falling more and more in love with helping buyers and sellers make the right decision, avoiding the mistakes. And I want to help you avoid them too. If you have more questions, please leave a comment below and I'll personally respond. And as always, call me, text me, email me, FaceTime me, and I'll be happy to help you through the entire process. If you thought this video provided useful and helpful information, please slap that like button, subscribe to my channel, and don't forget to hit that little bell icon so you can get notified every time I launch a new video. Make it a great day, and I look forward to seeing you down here soon. Ready to bang this out? Baby shark, do 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 do, baby shark, do 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 do. Daddy shark, do do do. That's a good. I woke up to that song this morning. Daddy shark, do 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 do. But looking for a home before having a mortgage, mortgage plan. <laughs> but looking for a home before having a mortgage plan is an absolute catastrophe. Why? When? Why? <laughs> Why? What you... Th <laughs> and they love the homes and select maybe their top three or four. <laughs> three, I, I think I did three and I raised two. <laughs> this is the Cinderella story airing on Fantasyland TV. Some buyers think they're but with their... <laughs>